Hey, we're catching up here with Chris Starkey again today. Game, uh, game two in two days for mm-hmm. us. Four, four total. But uh, you know, um, great de- day yesterday for the the Lady Vikings, uh, getting two wins over State Fair and uh, Sammy Huck on the on the mound, uh, pretty dominant. But uh, you know, uh, great play all around from uh, you know the entire team. Yeah, you know the thing is we played well and like. Like we've been talking about the whole time is just trying to be consistent, especially those getting back to back days and, and just see how we're going to be kind of battle tested, especially when it comes to the postseason tournament mm-hmm. and the sub regionals is we got to go back to back days and then the regional tournament itself is going to be a two, three day things. So just trying to get on a roll, get take it one day at a time, keep things yeah. simple and yeah. we've had some success here as of late. You, you mentioned that simplicity, you know, uh, home cooking and simplicity has been uh, a pretty good uh, key to a bunch of wins here uh, locally at home. Yeah, yeah, and that's one big thing is we appreciate our girls is the fact of, you know, we're playing at home, fans coming here to watch us, and, and we got to put on a good performance as far as what we do mentally, physically, you know, on the field, that type of stuff is represent, us, represent ourselves the right way, so uh, so we've done pretty well at home. Mineral areas in town is always kind of that crosstown rival, but, you know, that, that with the distance, but, I mean, they're the, one of the closer schools here, and it's always been a great friendly rivalry uh, game here, but uh they come into town today, um, struggling right now. But uh, you know, you can never take take your foot off the gas against any oh, team. Absolutely, you know, CJ CJ does a great job. You know, I've talked to him a lot this summer when we've been out recruiting that type of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's doing a lot of good things. I've been playing some really good, really good games as far as them playing. A lot of games have been kind of one run games for them. So, so they're very competitive, and that's what we keep preaching to our girls is you got to make sure it's competitive day in and day out, no matter who you're playing. Who's on the bump for both games? Uh, Sammy's going to start the first one, and then Laney Halley's going to start the second one. There you have it. Appreciate the time again. No problem. Thanks. Coach Chris Starkey from the Lady Vikings. At Girardi Agency, Missouri Farm Bureau, we're dedicated to safeguarding your present and securing your future. Whether it's auto, home, life, health, or business insurance, we offer comprehensive coverage tailored to your needs. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. Our office has been located in Hillsboro for over 30 years. Please contact our office today for a quote, 636-797-5800. Hi, this is Bill Ribble with APB Storage. APB Storage is a locally owned and operated family business that offers the best storage solutions in the Jefferson County area. Our electronic gates give you 24-hour access to your storage unit, and our state-of-the-art security system provides peace of mind and security. All of the units provide easy access drive-up doors to allow a stress-free way to your unit. Come see why people prefer the APB experience. Give us a call at 636-464-5629 or visit online at apbstorage.com. Hi, this is Steve Curley at Master Tech Auto Glass. Response has been great to our new business, but remember, we're not new in the business of auto glass. We have over 20 years of experience in rock chip repair, full windshield replacement, and we also offer camera recalibration services to keep your safety features functioning properly. We're a family-owned business, and I sincerely ask that you give my wife, Amanda, and I the opportunity to earn your business. So stop in or give us a call at 636-208-0018 or check us out at mastertechautoglass.com. We're Master Tech Auto Glass, located at 104 Twin City Mall in Crystal City, Missouri. Your vehicle will be in good hands at Master Tech Auto Glass. Jonesboro, Arkansas. Cameron Kessler, Benton, Missouri. Kaylin Haas, Morton, Missouri. Riley Branson, Sullivan, Missouri. Alexi Sanchez, House Springs, Missouri. Grace McGinnis, Benton, Missouri. Sophia Wyrick, Sullivan, Missouri. Sammy Huff, Tosi, Missouri. Mackenzie Daniels, Camden, Missouri. Brock Tall, Edwardsville, Illinois. Delaney Trumbly, Iliopolis, Illinois. Good afternoon and welcome to Vikings Softball and Livestream STL. We're live from Hillsboro, Missouri, home to the Jefferson Vikings. They will be taking on the Mineral Area Cardinals and we're going to get things started right away here. Ray Halbrook, Drake Beekman, and the wonderful... Hello, kids! Coach Woody Garner. Here we go. We're going to get things started right away and... Uh, 
Going to be a fun one. Beautiful day today. Here we go. Sammy Huck in the circle. First pitch. Strike called on the outside edge. Elizabeth Crowley, number 14, left-handed hitter. She's playing left field today for the Mineral Area Cardinals. First three will be Crowley, Huckstetter, and Meyer. Next pitch, swung on and missed. Strike two. We'll get you complete lineups here shortly, folks. Keep you informed. Gorgeous, gorgeous day. Game time temperature, 64 degrees. Ball low, one and two. Your defense for your Vikings, McKinnis, Sanchez, and Irby along the outfield. Lowry, Willis, Kranz, and Baker on the infield and a battery of Kessler and Huck. Swung on a miss. And that's how we start. First pitch is. That'll bring in number 12, center fielder Emily Hochstatter. Sammy Huck picking up right where she left off so far this week. This is her third start in three days in a row. And it's like she's fresh off a of vacation, Coach. Boy, I'm telling you, she looked good yesterday. She was supported with plenty of runs and got a 7-0 win. First pitch is a strike on the outside edge. Defense is straight up for the Vikings. They're dressed in their pinstripe. Gray pants, red tops. Swung on a miss through a fastball right by her above the hands. Jerseys trimmed in white and navy. Navy socks, white visors. Ball on the edge. One ball, two strikes. Drake, usually this is a gigantic battle between these two schools. And as I say that, she throws another fastball right by the Hochstetter. How does, um, how does eight pitches and six strikes to start the game sound I'm to you? I'm telling you, I think she had either 12 or 14 strikeouts yesterday. That'll bring in batting in the third hole, number 25, shortstop Sophie Meyer, right-handed hitter. Right down on that knob. Takes a ball outside. Cardinal, Sophie, Cardinal. Sophie Meyer, one of our Main Street Sports standouts yes, back sir. in the day from St. Pius X. Yes, sir. Swung on and missed. One and one. Cardinals dressed in their all blacks, trimmed in white, white socks, red lids. Strike on the edge. Took just a tad off that fastball. Pretty good crowd gathering here. Swung on and missed. Three up, three down, three Ks. We go to the bottom of the first, no score. This is Viking Softball on Livestream STL. Hi, my name is Marie Stelling. I'm the Community Relations Director for Autumn Ridge Residences. We offer a vibrant senior living community conveniently located off 55 in Herculaneum. We offer three meals a day, activities and outings, housekeeping laundry is all included. Just minutes away from doctor's offices, restaurants and shopping. So if you or someone you know are considering senior living, please contact me, Marie Stelling at 636-931-8400. Come see for yourself why seniors love the life they live at Autumn Ridge. Hey, I'm Josh, lead pastor at Faith Community. I wanna personally invite you to join my family and me on Easter Sunday. We'll have music and a great program for your kids to enjoy. We'll also talk about who Jesus is and why that matters to you and I as we celebrate this meaningful day together. So join us in person or online at 8.30, 10 or 11.30 on Easter morning. You can get all the details and directions at faithcommunity.co. Wherever you're at on your journey, you are welcome here at Faith Community. Discover the possibilities at Jefferson College. Find your passion in business, foreign language, precision machining technology, and physical therapist assistant. So what are you waiting for? Enroll today. We want to make uh, our game day sponsor known here, 
Potosi Chiropractic Life Center. Dr. Dan Huck and staff at Potosi Chiropractic Life Center would like to wish the Lady Vikings good luck in their season. Dr. Huck has been in practice for over 24 years and is here to serve you with health care needs. Call 573-4398, or I'm sorry, 573-438-5801 to schedule an appointment today. And with that, Sammy Huck steps in. She takes ball one. Foul backing out of play. That's a Master Tech foul ball going out that way. Your vehicle will be in good hands with Master Tech. Lineup for the Vikings. Huck, Irby, Sanchez, Willis, Kessler, and Sharp. Kranz, McGinnis, and Baker. Ground ball to third. Nice play by the third baseman for the Cardinals. 5-3 on the put out if you're scoring at home. Now to bring in number 26, right fielder Riley Irby. She caused a lot of problems yesterday for the road runners in both games. Made some nice catches out in right field. She was a handful for those road runners. Pitcher for the Cardinals today, Kerry Williams. First pitch to Irby, ball one. Their defense along the outfield, Crowley, Hockstetter, and Poucher, Burnett, Meyer, Bonner, and Mitts on the infield, and the battery of Cantrell and Williams. Pulled back on the bunt attempt, took a ball. 2-0. Inside, 3-0. Take the bunt and had to jump back from that pitch inside. No scores we play on here in the home half of the first. Strike on the outside edge, three and one to Irby. Ground ball. Left field, base hit. She hit that right in the Tony Gwynn hole. Between short and third. In steps number 17, center fielder Alexi Sanchez. See if Coach Starkey wants to do a little running right here. There she goes, throw down, safe, stolen base. Well, you can't complain when the hand touches a bag and you touch her on the hip. Everybody's very much known for her speed, so you had to assume that she was going to take off sooner or later. Boy, you, yeah, you and just bet. decided to jump the gun with that one. Exactly. RBI chance here. Next pitch from Williams to Sanchez. That'll get out of play to the left side. Quickly, 0-2. Line drive in the gap. Gone! Score big with APB Storage Home Run. A two-run shot by Alexi Sanchez. And just like that, the Vikings are up 2-0. Wow, what a shot. Put it in the right center field gap and just let it fly. Wasn't a much wrong with that, was there, Drake? There sure wasn't. She is. Well, now stepping in, number 21, shortstop, Bailey Willis. She takes a called strike. Well, and we talked about this yesterday, too, when the Vikings jumped out in front early. 
put so much pressure on the defense. Like, ah, oh, geez, now we're trailing. But you got to trust your group that they can come back from that. Quickly, no balls, two strikes. In the dirt, one and two. Next pitch, grounded. Foul past third. Keeps the count at one and two. Outside, three and one. Two two, my mistake. Two two count. Three two. Fouled at the plate. We talked to Coach Starkey before the game yesterday, and he's been preaching that for these girls to keep things simple. And boy, had, did they do that yesterday and again today. Ball outside. Made a battle for that walk there. So a one-out walk to Willis brings in the catcher, number 55, Cameron Kessler. First pitch from Williams, right down central, strike one. Willis kind of took a few steps down towards second after the pitch, kind of baiting the catcher to throw to second, maybe catch him off guard. You know, they they stole bases in the, in the most. I don't have a word, but it's like they were, they were running when you wouldn't think they would. And boy, did it pay, especially in that second game, and boy, did it pay off. When you catch the, uh, catch the defense napping, gotta take advantage. Boy, and they did too, my goodness. Ground ball to the shortstop, gloves, throws, out! Don't think so. 6-3 on the put out. That'll bring in number four, designated player, Cameron Sharp. Ball high. Outside, 2-0. Oh. Willis with a unbelievable secondary lead out there, just daring that catcher to throw the ball behind her. Because if she does, she'll take off for third and make it. Strike on the edge. She sure is tempting the catcher to make a throw down there. And you know, she did that yesterday. And all they're doing is, you know, I've seen guys do the same thing in baseball. They're baiting that catcher to throw behind them because they'll walk into third base. Oh, yeah. Tap foul at the plate. Another Master Tech foul ball. Two and two. Vikings have scored first here. It's two nothing. We're only in the first. Oh, 
swung on and missed. Chased a pitch out of the zone. That'll bring the inning to a close, but not before the Vikings scored two. We go to the second, two nothing Vikings. This is Viking Softball on Livestream STL. The Breeze Dental Care Team consists of dedicated individuals who are caring, kind, and friendly. Our staff is here to ensure a pleasant experience during your visit to our office. Our team includes experienced and energetic people whose goal it is to communicate well with our patients and provide the best care possible. Providing preventative, restorative, and cosmetic care, schedule a visit by calling 636-937-3030 or find us on the web at breezedentalcare.com. What if there was a place that could help you discover the possibilities? A place where you could find your passion, your purpose, your path. Jefferson College is that place. Law enforcement, EMT paramedic, health information technology, physical therapist assistant, the possibilities are endless. And with dedicated professors, online options, and affordable tuition, your dreams can become a reality. So what are you waiting for? Discover the possibilities at Jefferson College. We go to the second. Huck back to the circle. Two nothing. Jeffco. Stepping in is third baseman Ainsley Burnett, number 33. She takes a strike. And that's how we start. Swung on a miss through a fastball right by her. A lot of batters seem to have troubles catching up to that fastball that she can throw. Man. She's got some venom behind it. Yep. Another Master Tech foul ball. Your vehicle will be in good hands with Steve and Amanda down at Master Tech. Give them a call if you got issues with that glass. Take, pitch taken high, one ball, two strikes. <laughs> swung on a miss through a two-seamer in on the hands. It disappeared, and she swung right through it. One up, one down. That'll bring in number 18, the designated player. Kayla Scales. Ball high. Next pitch, slash foul off to the right side. The mustard on that, I think that headed to bear country. Not quite sure. Probably left a solid dent in one of them trees out there. Man. One and one. Oh. You're killing me, Smalls. Pitch a little bit outside. Another foul out of play to the right side. Two balls, two strikes to count. Hook's next pitch. A little bit of a change up. Missed outside, three and two. First real test that Sammy Huck has had to deal with so far in this game. Little hump back, base hit to right. Between the infielders. So a one out single for Scales, that brings in number 32, catcher Haley Cantrell.
bunted. Huck grabs, turns, throws out. Sacrifice is good. 1-3 on the put out. So a runner at second. Two down. Brings in number 28, first baseman Leanna Mitz. Left-handed stick. She's looking to plate this run for the Cardinals. Swung on and missed. Swung on a curveball that disappeared. Boy, yesterday, Drake, she was up and down and in and out of the strike zone. Swung on a miss, strike two, and the Roadrunners just honestly didn't have a prayer. Yeah, she's got very good command of her pitches, and you can tell, I mean, she's the, been the game one starter for three days in a row here. Swung on a miss, another curveball outside. That'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the Cardinals. Two nothing Vikings. This is Vikings softball on Livestream STL. Curly at Master Tech Auto Glass. Response has been great to our new business, but remember, we're not new in the business of auto glass. We have over 20 years of experience in rock chip repair, full windshield replacement, and we also offer camera recalibration services to keep your safety features functioning properly. We're a family owned business, and I sincerely ask that you give my wife, Amanda, and I the opportunity to earn your business. So stop in or give us a call at 636 208. 0018 or check us out at mastertechautoglass.com. We're Master Tech Auto Glass located at 104 Twin City Mall in Crystal City, Missouri. Your vehicle will be in good hands at Master Tech Auto Glass. Hi, this is Bill Ribble with APB Storage. APB Storage is a locally owned and operated family business that offers the best storage solutions in the Jefferson County area. Our electronic gates give you 24-hour access to your storage unit, and our state-of-the-art security system provides peace of mind and security. All of the units provide easy access drive-up doors to allow a stress-free way to your unit. Come see why people prefer the APB experience. Give us a call at 636-464-5629 or visit online at apbstorage.com. Discover the possibilities at Jefferson College. Find your passion in business, foreign language, precision machining technology, and physical therapist assistant. So what are you waiting for? Enroll today. And we're back, stepping into the box was Chloe Kranz, number 24. She's the second baseman. Fouls the first pitch off, strike one. Next pitch from Williams, high, evens the count at one apiece. Two nothing Vikings, we're in the home half of the second. Next pitch disappears inside. Great pitch by Williams. Swung right through by Kranz. One ball, two strikes. Kranz, a long, lean, right-handed hitter. Takes a ball outside. 2-2. Two -two. Next pitch, disappears inside, struck her out. Fran sprung white through that one. One up, one down. That'll bring in number six, Grace McKinnis. She's in left field this afternoon, batting in the eighth spot. Another right-handed hitter. Attempted bunt, they said she didn't give up on it. Strike one. It's tough to get that timing down to be able to pull that back all the way in time to get the ball from it, but held it out there just a little too long. Ball outside, and you know, I beg to differ on some of these attempted swings on bunts that these umpires call because they don't have the bat out like this. They're, they're starting to pull it back. 
Maybe they left it out there a bit, little bit too long, but I just, it's a pet peeve. You almost want to give them the benefit of the doubt if they're kind of starting their motion before they bring it back far enough for it yeah, to be a ball. You yeah. almost want them to not. Ball four. So a one-out walk to McInnes. That'll bring in number 11, Kelsey Baker. She's at first base today, hitting in the ninth spot. She wants to stay out of the double play and flip this lineup and get it back to the top. Swung on a miss, not corralled by the catcher. McGinnis will advance on the wild pitch. Runner at second, one down, next pitch. Fly ball down the right side. Gonna get out of play. Next pitch, outside. Next delivery, outside. Next pitch by Williams, fouled at the dish. Two twos account. Swung on a miss. Dropped a curveball in on her, swung over the top. Two down, that'll flip the lineup. Sammy Huck steps in. She grounded out to third her first time up. She's got an RBI opportunity here. Left-handed hitter, gloves on both hands. Fair ball off the third baseman's glove. The run's gonna score, and Huck's gonna scoot into second with a double. Nice job, Sammy Huck. Give her an RBI, she shot that ball inside the bag, past the third baseman. She'll get an RBI for that effort. Just barely out of the reach of Burnett, the oh, third baseman man. over there. She got a, she almost snow coned it, as they, as they like know, to say, but. I'm wondering, if she hadn't touched that ball, would it have gone foul? I don't know, but she, she got it in fair territory. Yeah, it was right there on that line, too. Yeah. It, could, it could have sort of trailed foul there, like you said. Riley Irby steps in. She takes ball one. Three-nothing Vikings. And just like Coach Starkey was harping yesterday, keep it simple. And, boy, that's what they're doing. Timely hitting, masterful pitching. That's slashed foul, Master Tech foul ball. <laughs> if that got your car over there, you shouldn't have been parked there, but if it did and it busted the windshield, come on up here, Ray will give you their phone number. We'll send you down there. Steve will take care of you. Little humpback pop up, caught by the third baseman. That'll end the inning, but the Vikings pick up one. They lead three nothing going to third. This is Vikings softball on Livestream STL. Hi, this is Steve Curley at Master Tech Auto Glass. Response has been great to our new business, but remember, we're not new in the business of auto glass. We have over 20 years of experience in rock chip repair, full windshield replacement, and we also offer camera recalibration services to keep your safety features functioning properly. 
We're a family-owned business, and I sincerely ask that you give my wife, Amanda, and I the opportunity to earn your business. So stop in or give us a call at 636-208-0018 or check us out at mastertechautoglass.com. We're Master Tech Auto Glass, located at 104 Twin City Mall in Crystal City, Missouri. Your vehicle will be in good hands at Master Tech Auto Glass. At Girardi Agency, Missouri Farm Bureau, we're dedicated to safeguarding your present and securing your future. Whether it's auto, home, life, health, or business insurance, we offer comprehensive coverage tailored to your needs. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. Our office has been located in Hillsboro for over 30 years. Please contact our office today for a quote, 636-797-5800. Commercials are just back here for the top of the third inning. Second baseman Nayla Booner up to bat for the Mineral Area Cardinals. Sammy Huck at the bump again. First pitch is attempted bunt fouled straight back for a Master Tech foul ball. Sammy Huck, after two innings, only 27 pitches. Coach, I think that's pretty good. Well, she. this is a carbon copy of what happened yesterday. Next pitch is a swinging foul ball straight into the third base dugout. Hopefully the, the Cardinals over there are paying attention. You'll miss, lose a finger over there if you're not. Or get poked in the eye with a softball. That's going to leave a mark. No kidding. Here's the 0-2 pitch to Booner. S strike three right down the middle. Threw her a changeup, and you could tell by her reaction, she w that's the last thing she was looking for. You could say that again. Up next, batting number nine, the right fielder, number five, Shelby Poucher. Vikings only given up one hit so far as we, we enter the top of the third. First pitch, outside for a ball. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Bunt is going straight behind the catcher. Quickly an 0-2 count again. Sammy Huck does not mess about. She wants to get ahead in the count quick, and she's been doing a pretty good job of that. You know, we've seen three bunt attempts by the Cardinals, but you do what you got to do to upset what's going on with the defense. Take, take anything you can get your hands on. Next pitch is a called strike on the outside corner. Doing a little paint job herself there on the outside corner. Yeah, Coach, I've noticed for the for the Vikings on defense, they've got both the first and third baseman playing either dead even or right inside the bag. You see Poucher striking out, swinging there. Quickly you two know, outs. They did that all day yesterday, too, either even. And a lot of times they'll start even, and then they'll come in a step as the pitch is delivered. I guess they're pretty confident in their bunt defense. Yeah, yeah. Going back to the top of the lineup now, the left fielder, Elizabeth Crawley. She struck out swinging at the very start of the game. First pitch is, again, another strike swinging. And to Jeffco's defensive credit, though, I don't remember anybody but the pitchers fielding bunts on sacrifices yesterday. They are that good at that. Next pitch is an attempted bunt. Was not able to pull the bat back in time. Strike two. Again, Sammy Huck doing well for herself to get out to a quick 0-2 count. Here's the next pitch. Swinging a foul ball straight backwards. Another Master Tech Autoglass foul ball. And here's the next pitch. Swung and it barely clipped the bat of Crawley there. And I guess it landed in the dirt. I thought I heard the, the sound of the glove catching that ball, but I guess it hit the ground as well. So for the third time, here is the 0-2 pitch. Swinging again, another foul ball straight behind the catcher. And Cameron Kessler. 
Probably doing a great job battling, kind of protecting that plate, trying to salvage something from this at bat. And you know you're hoping, as a hitter, you're hoping she makes a mistake and you can plant one. She's choked up about an inch on that bat. Swinging again, a foul ball, a little dribbler right behind the catcher, Kessler again. Look at the third baseman now. She's in two steps. Do they say fifth time's the charm? Something Here's like the that. Pitch again. Swing and a miss. She struck her out. Very impressive from Sammy Huck. As we move into the bottom of the third inning, your Vikings lead three to nothing over the Lady Cardinals. This is Viking Softball on live stream SDL. Health Information Technology Program combines healthcare, business, and technology. This online degree provides students a broad range of knowledge that allows them to choose multiple career paths. Our graduates work in data analytics, electronic health records, medical coding, and much more. Employment growth is high for HIT careers. Upon completion, our students are eligible to take the Registered Health Information Technician exam since we are nationally accredited by KHIM. For more information, go to jeffco.edu slash HIT. Bree's Dental Care Team consists of dedicated individuals who are caring, kind, and friendly. Our staff is here to ensure a pleasant experience during your visit to our office. Our team includes experienced and energetic people whose goal it is to communicate well with our patients and provide the best care possible. Providing preventative, restorative, and cosmetic care, schedule a visit by calling 636-937-3030 or find us on the web at breezedentalcare.com. Back here at Jefferson College as Alexi Sanchez is up to the plate for the Vikings. Takes ball one outside. The three, four, and five hitters do up for the Vikings. Alexi Sanchez didn't do nothing special in the first inning except hit a home run. Giving the Vikings their only two, or the first two runs of the game, I should say. Second pitch is again outside for a ball. Hasn't been that busy in the outfield, Coach, but she's making a count behind the plate. You know, and it was just the opposite yesterday. Swing and a fly ball to center field. Back goes the center fielder, and it is gone. An APB storage home run. Make it two for two for Alexi Sanchez. Score big with APB storage. And my goodness. She's making it look easy, Coach. I'm telling you. Center fielder Emily Hostadter just watched it fly. She took a couple good steps and then gave up. She, she was tracking it. it for a second, but then without any shadow of a doubt, that ball gets over the fence for her second home run of the day. Brings up number 21, Bailey Willis. Walked on her first at bat back in the first inning. First pitch is outside for a ball. And if you're Sammy Huck in the, in the dugout right now, you're grinning from ear to ear with all the support that you're getting from your offense. Next pitch is outside, ball two. You know, it takes a little pressure off the person on the circle. You know, you don't have to work quite as hard. Now, you don't want to act stupid, you know, and get into a pattern of that's going to cause you a big problem. Third pitch is outside for ball three. There's a there's definitely a difference between complacency and comfortability, you'd say, Coach. Absolutely. Just relax and pitch. Here's the 3-0 pitch. Strike call, three and one. You can actually see, speaking from the coaching standpoint, when you get up to a lead like this, where you scored in every inning, Willis takes ball four. She's going to go to first base on a walk. You know, it, it, you, you can just see the level of tension drop out of the whole dugout when you start putting runs on the board. Everybody's a little less tense. Up next now for the Vikings, number 55, Cameron Kessler, your catcher for the Vikings today. 
Went 0 for 1 on a ground out so far today. First pitch is called strike. And again, you see Bailey Willis kind of take a couple shuffle steps after the pitch is thrown and kind of testing the catcher, kind of trying to figure out what she's going to do. Pitcher Carrie Williams gets her sign. Here's the next pitch is outside for a ball. Catcher fakes a throw down to first base. Trying to let Willis know, yeah, I see you down there, but I'm not going to play your games if I don't want to. If she's got the arm, once you get the runner first base flat-footed out there on an island, snap a throw in there. It's the game within the game, right? Yep. Next pitch is a swing fly ball to right field. Back goes the right fielder. That ball is out of here. A second home run in the inning for the Vikings. Cameron Kessler goes yard. She scores big with an APB storage home run. Three home runs on the afternoon for the Vikings, two of them being two run bombs. Add one more in there for show, and your Vikings lead six to nothing. As we see the Cardinals coming to the mound for a quick chat. Coach just trying to calm everyone down a little bit. And while we've got that uh, quick break here, we'll tell you about our good friends over at Cheap Seats Photography, Photography Banners Designs. Where do we get our banners at? You'll see our banner right behind the dugout, or I'm sorry, right behind the backstop here from Cheap Seats Photo. Give them a call, 314-402-9014, cheapseatsphoto.com. Ron Rigdon and the friends over there. Tell them we sent you from Livestream STL. Up to the box now. Designated hitter for the day, Cameron Sharp, number four. She struck out on her first plate appearance. Umpire stepping behind the plate once again, getting ready for the next step at. Williams gets her sign, and here's the pitch. Inside, ball one. Coach, if you're Carrie Williams on, on the mound right now, what is, what's going through your, her brain, do you think, and how do you uh, kind of get a rhythm back and, and reestablish yourself here? You know, you're pitching from behind. you got to keep your focus. You can't let your demeanor look like you're down 6 nothing or up 6 nothing. I know that's hard to do, but you got to do that because you don't want to give up anymore because you're thinking, we catch a little lightning in a bottle, we could tie this in one inning. You just never know. That's just how ball works sometimes. Yep. Yeah, got to stay mentally tough out there. Unfortunately for William, she finds herself in a 3-0 hole to start the at-bat. Here's the 3-0 pitch. Outside, ball four. And Cameron Sharp is going to find herself down at first base with a walk. On the other hand, though, if this is a pattern of past ways of things going on, first thing going through her mind is, oh, geez, not again. You know, she's making some good pitches. These batters, like those pitches that have been hit to right for home runs, have been on the outside edge. Those are good pitches but the Vikings are going out and getting the ball. Second baseman Chloe Kranz now up to bat. She struck out on her first plate attempt. Cameron Sharp down there at first. Again, kind of taking a couple of steps towards second, swinging a fly ball to right center field. Back goes the right fielder, and that one is gone. Another two-run home run for the Jefferson College Vikings. Making an eight-nothing game. Chloe Crane scoring big with an APB storage home run herself. Vikings are scoring big here this afternoon, and you can score big yourself with APB storage. Now before Grace McGinnis, the left fielder for the Vikings, comes to bat, it looks like we're going to have ourselves a pitching change possibly. You know, this is exactly what the Roadrunners did not do yesterday against Sammy Huck and Daniels in the circle. 
they were using they were pitching outside all day long and not once did they go out and get the ball like the Vikings are doing today. They're looking away. Maybe she has a history of pitching away, but they're looking away. And how many, what, five home runs have been hit to the right side? Only one to center field? Man. As we get the pitching change underway, we're gonna step aside for a quick break. This is Viking Softball on Livestream SDO. Hey, I'm Josh, lead pastor at Faith Community. I wanna personally invite you to join my family and me on Easter Sunday. We'll have music and a great program for your kids to enjoy. We'll also talk about who Jesus is and why that matters to you and I as we celebrate this meaningful day together. So join us in person or online at 8.30, 10, or 11.30 on Easter morning. You can get all the details and directions at faithcommunity.co. Wherever you're at on your journey, you are welcome here at Faith Community. What if there was a place that could help you discover the possibilities? A place where you could find your passion, your purpose, your path. Jefferson College is that place. Law enforcement, EMT paramedic, health information technology, physical therapist assistant, the possibilities are endless. And with dedicated professors, online options, and affordable tuition, your dreams can become a reality. So what are you waiting for? Discover the possibilities at Jefferson College. At Girardi Agency Missouri Farm Bureau, we're dedicated to safeguarding your present and securing your future. Whether it's auto, home, life, health, or business insurance, we offer comprehensive coverage tailored to your needs. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. Our office has been located in Hillsboro for over 30 years. Please contact our office today for a quote, 636-797-5800. Welcome back to Jefferson College, home of the Vikings. First baseman, Leanna Mitz takes over on the mound, bringing in number 17, Emma Wengler, to take her place at first base as the left fielder for the Vikings. Number six, Grace McGinnis steps up to the plate. Leanna Mitz, left-handed pitcher from St. Charles, Missouri. First pitch is a bunt right back to the pitcher. Mitz picks it up over to first for the put out. And that's a pretty good uh, good way to calm things down, I'd say, Coach. Yep. And that's the best thing you can do. That happened yesterday. New pitcher in the game. Lay, the, well, lay one down. CFC is ready to play defense. Up next is number 11, Kelsey Baker, the first baseman. Takes ball one. Next pitch is a swing and a miss. Kelsey Baker struck out her first plate appearance. One-one pitch. Inside for ball two. Here's a two-one pitch. Swing and a miss, 2-2. Two -two. Miss getting her sign from the dugout. Here is the 2-2 two -two pitch. That is high for ball three, full count for Kelsey Baker. The 3 2 pitch. Swinging a foul ball out of play down the third baseline. A Master Tech auto glass foul ball. For the second time, here's the 3 2 pitch. That is up high for ball four, so Kelsey Baker is going to find her way down to first base. After a hard fought at bat, earns yourself a walk. And that means we're gonna flip the lineup back to the top. Your pitcher for the Vikings, number five, Sammy Huck, up to the plate as we get a pinch runner. That's Emma Lands, number 13. A 
eight nothing Vikings. We're only in the third. Here's the first pitch to Hook, swinging a fly ball to left field. Back goes the left fielder, Crawley, and she's going to make that catch for the second out of the inning. Nicely hit ball, but unfortunately he was able to stay in the park this time for the Cardinals. You're thinking, finally. We, just, we got so used to that inning to watching fly balls leave the ballpark. It's like, well, is that going to go? Yeah, that ball got high enough to be over the fence and we thought it was going. First pitch is an outside ball. Runner goes to second, she is in safely. Emma Lane's in there quite comfortably as the throw was a little bit offline. Right fielder Riley Irby up to the plate now. She is one for two with a single and a fly out. Next pitch is outside. You see Lane, she's about three quarters of the way to third base right there, I think. Man. She had a really solid lead. Tempting that catcher to, to throw another one down her way. You know, people would argue, why are you running? You're up eight nothing. How many times have you seen a team come from behind to tie it? Next pitch is a strike. A little too often for most people to like, I'd say, Coach. Or you quit trying to score. All of a sudden, they come back and they beat you 9-8. to eight. That's right. Because you didn't keep working your offense. They're going to keep trying to get you out. you got to try to keep scoring. Next pitch is down low for a ball, making it a 3-1 to one count. Here's the next pitch. That is a called ball four. And a stolen base down to third. Lanes caught the defense napping. She takes third base as we now have runners on the corners. Now if you're the coach for the Cardinals, you are maybe not exactly happy with that one. Well, it's your own fault. You should teach your players to pay attention. Up next in the three hole for the Vikings, number 17, Alexi Sanchez, your center fielder, has not done a whole lot in the outfield on defense, but she's done more than her fair share behind, or at the plate, I should say. Two home runs on the day for herself. as She takes the first pitch for a strike. You know, in every sport, no matter what it is, you take what the defense will give you. And if they're going to give you a stolen base because they're not paying attention, go ahead. The 0-1 pitch is outside for a ball. You see Irby there at first base. Almost taunting the catcher. Irby has some solid speed herself. She is known for running around the base paths. Wouldn't surprise me if we see her going here in the next pitch or two, if she's able. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch by Mitz. Up high, throw down to third, not in time. Catcher finally having enough of these games, Cantrell. That, that was a nice pop down to third. Yes, it was keep a them, throw. Keep, keep them honest. They're going to mess around and run on you. Keep them honest. Looks like the outfield umpire is having a conversation there with Leanna Mitz, maybe telling her, hey, I think I see something that might result in the box, so just be careful. I need to add insult to injury. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Outside for a ball. Again, Irby is testing fate, perhaps. Through one count now for Sanchez. Mitz gets her signal from the dugout, and here's the pitch. Swinging a pop-up, looks like to the shortstop. That is Meyer, she is under it and makes the catch to bring the third inning to a close. But not before the Vikings put up a fair few amount of runs themselves. Eight nothing your score, we will be back for the fourth. This is Vikings Softball on Livestream STL. Hi, my name is Marie Stelling. 
I'm the Community Relations Director for Autumn Ridge Residences. We offer a vibrant senior living community conveniently located off 55 in Herculaneum. We offer three meals a day, activities and outings, housekeeping laundry is all included. Just minutes away from doctor's offices, restaurants, and shopping. So if you or someone you know are considering senior living, please contact me, Marie Stelling, at 636-931-8400. Come see for yourself why seniors love the life they live at Autumn Ridge. Hey, I'm Josh, lead pastor of Faith Community. I want to personally invite you to join my family and me on Easter Sunday. We'll have music and a great program for your kids to enjoy. We'll also talk about who Jesus is and why that matters to you and I as we celebrate this meaningful day together. So join us in person or online at 8.30, 10, or 11.30 on Easter morning. You can get all the details and directions at faithcommunity.co. Wherever you're at on your journey, you are welcome here at Faith Community. We go to the fourth, eight nothing Vikings. Hockstetter steps in, struck out her first time up. Fakes a bunt, pulls it back, ball one. Jiminy. If you're just tuning in or you missed the third inning, you missed the third inning. Strike called, half swing. Vikings had a 3 0 lead. They scored five in the inning on three home runs. Mm -mm -mm. Strike on the edge. One and two to Hockstetter. You got to think there might be a little bit of uh, not fatigue. What the opposite of fatigue would be? Sammy Huck waiting so long in the dugout there. She's right back business as usual. Ooh. Two, two. But you know, there's a debate about that, but it's a good rest. Yes. You know, there's a difference between going out and, and oh, i got to go back out there. We're getting our brains beat out. You know, totally different. Definitely helps being on the leading side of a, yeah. a scoreline like this for sure. Just get you an extra drink, eat a protein bar maybe or a banana, relax, and then go back out and pitch. And there you go. One up, one down on a K. Brings in Sophie Meyer, shortstop. She also struck out her first time up. And you know, Huck is of the demeanor where she's not going to get derailed or sidetracked from a long inning. That's just, that's just how she's built. Swung on a miss, threw a fastball right by Meyer. Swung on and missed. Fastball at the hands, out of the zone. Swung and missed again. There's a Master Tech Auto Glass foul ball back off the screen. Look at the difference in the defense. Look at the Viking outfielders where they're at and where the Cardinal outfielders were. Swung on and missed. Two up, two down. The Cardinal outfielders were back seven, eight, ten feet. Oh, yeah. You can see they all kind of took a few steps back there. They must have a uh, some sort of scouting report there on Sophie Meyer who just struck out. But definitely agreed. In, in general, the, the two outfields definitely look a little different. Ainsley Burnett steps in, swung and missed, strike one. She also struck out her first time up. Another running fastball under the hands, strike two. Swung on and missed. Three up, three down, three Ks. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Eight nothing Vikings. This is Viking Softball on Livestream STL.
Hi, this is Bill Ribble with APB Storage. APB Storage is a locally owned and operated family business that offers the best storage solutions in the Jefferson County area. Our electronic gates give you 24-hour access to your storage unit, and our state-of-the-art security system provides peace of mind and security. All of the units provide easy access drive-up doors to allow a stress-free way to your unit. Come see why people prefer the APB experience. Give us a call at 636-464-5629 or visit online at apbstorage.com. Hi, this is Steve Curley at Master Tech Auto Glass. Response has been great to our new business, but remember, we're not new in the business of auto glass. We have over 20 years of experience in rock chip repair, full windshield replacement, and we also offer camera recalibration services to keep your safety features functioning properly. We're a family-owned business, and I sincerely ask that you give my wife, Amanda, and I the opportunity to earn your business. So stop in or give us a call at 636-208-0018 or check us out at mastertechautoglass.com. We're Master Tech Auto Glass, located at 104 Twin City Mall in Crystal City, Missouri. Your vehicle will be in good hands at Master Tech Auto Glass. Discover the possibilities at Jefferson College. Find your passion in business, foreign language, precision machining technology, and physical therapist assistant. So what are you waiting for? Enroll today. Bailey Willis comes to the plate for the Vikes here in the fourth. Fouls the ball off to the right side. Next pitch by Mitz. Change up. Strike called. 0-2. Good pitch by the lefty. Yeah, Willis well, checked her swing there. Definitely didn't go, but that ball was definitely in the strike zone. Cameron Kessler on deck. Another change up on the outside edge. She gets Willis swinging and in steps Cameron Kessler. She's one for two, grounded out to the shortstop and hit a home run, as did several others <laughs> last inning. Might get a little repetitive there saying people have hit home runs. Man. She takes ball one. Everybody except number one and number nine has scored in this game. What's that tell you about the offense, folks? I think they're doing just fine. Change up, swung and threw. One ball, one strike. She knew it too. Got a little grin on her face. Not a happy grin. Master Tech foul ball off to the side. No auto glass involved in that one. One ball, two strikes to Kessler. Definitely get a sigh of relief when you see a foul ball go off in the middle of some trees and not a huge parking lot. Popped up. Catcher's underneath it, and Cantrell makes a catch. Two up, two down for the Vikes. We want to make sure that uh, we get our game day sponsor in here, Potosi Chiropractic Life Center. Dr. Dan Huck and staff at Potosi Ch Chiropractic Life Center would like to wish the Lady Vikings good luck in their season. Dr. Huck has been in practice for over 24 years and is here to serve you with their, his health care needs. Call 573-438. 5801 to schedule your appointment today and look for them on the Facebook page for more information. That was a mouthful. Yeah, say that five times fast. Dude, done well. The pinch hitter, Courtney Lowry. Hitting in Cameron Sharp's place. Lowry was the flex player today. Grounded pass, first base off the dugout, strike one.
Buzzes the tower, Maverick style. One and one. Ball low. Two and one. A big old live stream STL shout out to our boy, Mr. Blue Tiger Media, Jeff Whitener. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Change up. Whoa. Well, and we've got a little surprise for Three, Jeff, go. too. Here it is right here. Jeff, we miss you. Get well soon. Hey, everybody's missing Jeff Whitener. We appreciate uh, the ladies saying hey, and they miss him today. And out, uh, you know, just under the weather, been under the weather for all week this week, it seems like. He's the Reggie Jackson of live stream SPL. That's right. That's right. He's the straw that <laughs> stirs October. the drink. Mr. Absolutely. October. Love it. Actually, I don't know if you could call him Mr. October. He's Mr. 12 months of the year. Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, we agree with you on that. There's a small part of me that's glad he's not here, though, because you two got into it a little bit while we were on air. <laughs> I was going to have to hold you guys back, make sure there's no infighting. Oh, my goodness. Hey, when, you, when, you, when you've been schooled and you stand it, Stand corrected by Mr. Whitener. You stand corrected. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Chloe Cran steps in. She's one for two. Strikeout and a home run. Pair of RBIs. Sound like a broken record when you keep saying home run. Change up. Strike called. Drop that on a dime. Mitts featuring that changeup quite effectively. And yeah, she's done a pretty solid job in relief. Another change on the outside edge. Nice pitch, girl. Not a baby. Does she have guts enough to throw it again? Don't change your arm slot or your grip. Popped up. Is that going to get down? No. Hochstetter with a running catch. That'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the Vikes. We go to the fifth. Eight nothing Vikings. This is Viking Softball on Livestream STL. Hey, I'm Josh, lead pastor at Faith Community. I want to personally invite you to join my family and me on Easter Sunday. We'll have music and a great program for your kids to enjoy. We'll also talk about who Jesus is and why that matters to you and I as we celebrate this meaningful day together. So join us in person or online at 8.30, 10, or 11.30 on Easter morning. You can get all the details and directions at faithcommunity.co. Wherever you're at on your journey, you are welcome here at Faith Community. Hi, this is Bill Ribble with APB Storage. APB Storage is a locally owned and operated family business that offers the best storage solutions in the Jefferson County area. Our electronic gates give you 24-hour access to your storage unit, and our state-of-the-art security system provides peace of mind and security. All of the units provide easy access drive-up doors to allow a stress-free way to your unit. Come see why people prefer the APB experience. Give us a call at 636-464-5629 or visit online at apbstorage.com. Discover the possibilities at Jefferson College. Find your passion in business, foreign language, precision machining technology, and physical therapist assistant. So what are you waiting for? Enroll today. New pitcher for the Vikings. In the circle, number 18, Brooke Toll. Right-hander. Now the Cardinals are gonna get it from the other side. Akaya Scale steps in. She's one for one with a single. We're in the fifth. Vikings lead, eight nothing. Master Tech Autoglass foul ball slashed off to the right. Sammy Hook again, a great outing for her going four innings, only giving up one hit, no runs, pretty uh, Picturesque from the Potosi native. You look at the box score there. 
Another foul ball straight back, quickly 0-2. Sammy Huck, 11 strikeouts. I believe she had either 12 or 14 yesterday. Nothing too spectacular though, right coach? No, not at all. Ooh, good pitch, a little outside, one and two. Swung on a missed. Good pitch down and in. Disappeared out of the strike zone. Scales couldn't catch it. That'll bring in Cantrell. She had a sacrifice back in the second. Her only at bat. Moved a runner in scoring position for the Cardinals, but they couldn't plate that run. Strike by Toll, gets ahead, and that's what you need to do if you're a relief pitcher in a close game or a blowout. Be a pitcher, not a thrower. Ball's fouled back, 0-2. Oh All low. Ooh, there's a master tech auto glass foul ball and I believe that got up into bear country. One ball, two strikes. Another foul at the dish. Just curious, Ray, if, uh, hope, hopefully it doesn't happen, but on occasion we have foul balls hit our cameras. You think Steve and Amanda down there at that place could work on a, I know it says you autoglass, but hey, you Steve, you interested in working on a camera right. if it got <laughs> the hammer put to it? We might have to find a uh, cell phone repair shop for that. That's I'm asking for, <laughs> asking for a friend. I'm not wishing no uh, ill will on our cameras, but they are known to take a beating sometimes. That's great. That's great. 2-2 two, two to count. Fouled back again. Cantrell hanging tough. Sure gave him a good business idea, though. Not only do we do auto glass, we do phone repair. Ground ball. First base, you're out. Three unassisted. And Sammy Huck has moved to first base. Leanna Mitt steps in. She's 0 for 1 with a strikeout. As are a bunch of her teammates. Usually when you get done pitching, you just go have a break in the, in the dugout for the rest of the game. But Sammy Huck is very versatile. Well, and you know what? And what he's doing, he's putting her, keeping her bat in the lineup. Yes, that's very true. You know, being the leadoff hitter, she led off yesterday too. Absolutely. Mitt swings at a ball. High and out, strike zone. Strike one. Grounded, two third. Lowry throws out, inning over. Five three on the put out, nothing doing for the Cardinals in the fifth. Eight nothing is your score. And that is the ball game by virtue of the run rule. 
Vikings pound out. Boy, I need an abacus. Somebody get me an abacus. <laughs> Six home runs on the day. Just a you few. You kidding me? All again, like yesterday, all Sammy Huck on on the circle, with a little help from Toll in relief. The Vikings win this first one, eight nothing. We will have the nightcap, Ray. The nightcap uh, in about thirty minutes here, so three fifteens. Look at it for us around three forty-five, maybe just a little bit before. We'll start a brand new stream for. Coach Woody for Drake Beekman, Ray Halbrook, all of us here at Livestream STL. Thanks again so much for watching Vikings Softball and Livestream STL. We'll see you in about 30 minutes. Thanks for watching today's broadcast. Any unauthorized use of this broadcast without the express written consent of Livestream STL is strictly prohibited.